I wanted to start doing monthly favorite videos. So, because I love watching monthly favorites and I thought, why not get into the conversation and do one too? So, I decided that I'm gonna start with the month of August. So, my favorites over what I used in August and then some of them are like kind of what I used over the summer that I really liked. So, let's just get started. So, I have, these are two brushes I wanted to talk about. They are um, Real Techniques face brushes. So this is the Expert face brush and this is the Stippling brush. And it's kind of funny because I thought these were bronzing brushes. So I, I bought them for bronzing and like um, contouring and then I realized they're better for foundation. So this is really, if you can see that, it's a really dense brush and it gives a really flawless finish because sometimes I don't want to look like I have like a ton of makeup on or anything like that. So this gives really good coverage without looking like you have a ton of makeup on. And this stippling brush, it's a different finish where you do get a lot of really good coverage. It does look like you're maybe wearing a little bit more makeup than normal, but it's amazing. So I would highly recommend both of these. So the Expert Face Brush and the Stippling Brush from Real Techniques. So uh, going along with that, I thought maybe next we talk about lotions. So I have really dry skin. I live in Utah, we have a desert climate, so it's really dry, we don't have a lot of humidity. So I've been using Pacifica lotion. So these are two of my favorite. This is the Tuscan Blood Orange, and like it's totally almost gone from, I got this one from Target. And then I found this one at TJ Maxx, and it is the Brazilian Mango Grapefruit. And I really like fruity smells. I'm not really into like musky or florally smells. I like more of like a fruity, fresh smell. So these two are amazing, and as you can see, they are almost gone because I have used them a lot. So, and then also because I have really dry skin, I just wanted to share with people that this gold bond lotion has been my favorite, and it comes in like little travel sizes too. So I use this all year round, and it's one of the best lotions that I have found. It's more of like a fragrant free lotion that my husband will use it. I'll use it. It feels really good and it's very hydrating if you have really dry skin. So those are some good lotions too. Then um, I decided to try some new hair products um, in August and I'm a total Tresemme junkie. Like I will try different types of Tresemme shampoo but I hardly ever go out of my comfort zone of Tresemme. But I decided to try the L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care. So I decided to try Total Repair 5, sorry that's what they do, and the conditioner as well. And I have nothing but good things to say about this shampoo. So it's, um, it says it's to rebuild fiber, strength, vitality, um, silkiness, and shine. And I did notice that it, it cleaned my hair really good, so it felt really clean and really um, sleek. And then it also did add a lot of shine to my hair too. So. And it just made it feel so soft. The conditioner is like amazing. Like you know the conditioner you get in like hair color boxes after you color your hair and there's like a little conditioner in there and it's amazing. The conditioner reminds me a lot of that. So I totally recommend these two guys. They're kind of wet because I got them out of my shower. But I'll totally be repurchasing those because I really like those a lot. Um, also, I wanted to talk about uh-huh, I just use this so that's why I couldn't find it, is Big Sexy Hair. So I just jumped on the Big Sexy Hair bandwagon and this is Spray and Play Volumizing Hairspray. And I have really long hair and so a lot of the times it goes really flat. So I tend to use hairsprays that leave my hair a little bit crunchy um, and things like that. That's the only way I can really get things to say is to use a lot of hair product and a heavy hairspray and I feel like this is in between a light hairspray and a heavy hairspray so it's kind of a medium one and I like it because it dries fast it does give your hair, hair volume sometimes I'll spray it and then I'll just kind of crunch my hair up like we'll just shake it just kind of crunch it up and it kind of like helps it to stay so mm, I like it I like it a lot I bought it in a little tiny travel size and I decided to invest and get a big one because it's amazing Okay, um, also with skincare, in August I had like weird little chin bump outs, like little things bump out on my chin that I didn't really like, and I came across Benefits Boo Boo Zap, 
and it's kind of interesting like the top of it like the applicator I was I thought that maybe like a ball was missing like I saw a sample of it and I thought maybe there should be like a ball like you know, a little perfume rub on perfumes but no when I when I bought it it came like this and you just kind of like stick it on wherever you have like blemish and look like that and then it you can't see that but it comes out so it's um the ingredient in it, the active ingredient is salicy salicylic acid so that's mainly what it is and so when you have you know ones that are kind of like undergrounder that you know hurt when you touch them things like that this I just would put it on after I washed my face moisturize and I was good to go it held one of mine like in a day like not like in the same day but like I used it in the morning and then in the night and then the next day it was a lot better it didn't hurt or anything like that so boob was that I recommend it it's a good one okay now I have a lot of lip products I want to talk about so I was also sort of late to the EOS bandwagon but I love EOS balm so I started with this grapefruit pomegranate one and I kind of was getting low and I told myself I would not buy any more until it was done and I just couldn't resist. I totally wanted to try the mint, which is my favorite. And then I got a pink one and then I got a summer fruit one and then I got this one. This one's a medicated one so if you have like really chapped lips or anything like that I would recommend it for that. And it feels kind of like um, Carmex. So it's a little bit of a different texture than the other two, but it is medicated, so if you have like really dry lips. So I don't know what happened to me, but I just had to have them. So I love them. My very favorite though, <clears throat> out of all the five flavors that I've tried, is mint. So good. I like that mint. It's a good one. Okay, and some other lip products that I wanted to talk about are these Just Bitten Kissables. So these are products that I bought at the beginning of summer, kind of more springish. I bought these three, actually. Um, so, and I love these two. This one's just okay. It kind of um, would change colors. So it would go on this kind of um, lavender purpley color, and then it would turn to more of like this color, more of like a magenta color. So I, I don't really love this one for maybe my complexion, maybe it's just like my skin tone. Um, it might work for somebody else, but these two I wore all summer long. Like it, they're just, so what they are, are they're balm stains. So you just put it on like a lip balm and it has a lot of good color. So, and there's like a bright pink one. So I love these babies. I just bought one for fall because I'm really into like plums and purples. And it's a really, really pretty berry color. So I've been wearing that one and I love it. It's beautiful. So I would totally recommend this, especially if you don't love the feel of lipstick on your lips, like a really heavy lip, um, you know, really heavy lipstick. Uh, and sometimes like lipsticks will kiss off. These don't kiss off, which I really like. So if you give your man a kiss on the cheeks or the lips, they're not gonna be wearing your color either. So totally recommend these. So they're Revlon Just Bitten Kiss. And then two more lip colors that I love are these. They're Maybelline. They're vibrant. So I'm wearing this purple one. This one is in Brazenberry, which I totally love. And then this one is a really, really bright pink. So again, it was a cute one for summer. It's Vivid Rose. Totally wore it in August. And it's compared to the other one, like the Kissables, it's a more of a vibrant, like, hot pink, so it was way cute. I love, I still wear it, but it was really cute for like August and, and summertime. So those are some the products that I highly recommend. So another, my last makeup suggestion or makeup favorite that I used in August that I started using is the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. This mascara is amazing. So the bristle is one of those or the brush is kind of more like a plasticky one and it kind of bends and I'm not always like, these are not always my favorite brushes, but this one is amazing, I'm not kidding. And I think it has a lot to do with the mascara formula because it's thickening, it curls, 
um, it's really dark black mascara so my eyelashes grow straight and I always have to curl them and then I typically use waterproof mascara but when you're doing that every day sometimes I get a little patch on this eye where my eyelashes fall out and it's not my favorite and it bugs me really bad but this mascara is curling so and I totally noticed a difference there's some mascaras that say they're curling but I just was like what not even but this one's really really good so I use this one um, I think I started using it in July and August and I even had a little patch that was missing on this eye so I didn't curl my eyelashes I just used this and they looked really like up and girly and pretty and my eyelashes grew back which was awesome so I totally highly recommend their room I benefit they're awesome okay so there you have it those are my August favorites and some things that I highly recommend. So thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or if you want to recommend a product for me to try, just go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.